And I, and I just don't want to be like him, though, but I have to tell the truth. Boots uh, hit him with a body shot and dropped him in here. Takes it for almost double, you know, uh, so, you know, we're trying, we're trying our best to make this fight happen. Well, I told you. I told you guys that the Normans are seemingly pricing themselves out. And now both Ennis's, Jerron and his father and trainer Bozy reacts to the current situation with this fight with the Normans. It's your boy, Mr. 926, a.k.a. Bushido the Dragon, a.k.a. the Black Mage, a.k.a. I can just do this all day, the two-time demonetized champion of the world. I need y'all to get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Smash the like button. We have 350 people and 90 fucking five likes. Check it out, man. Oh, wow. Smoke is in the air right now. Jerron Ennis reacts to the Normans. I guess you could say pricing themselves out of the fight. Check out what Jerron Boots Ennis had to say. Um, negotiations with uh, Brian Norman Jr. is going viral. You know, you've done interviews. They've done interviews. Any update on negotiations? Uh, right now, like I'm staying behind the scenes right now and not talking too much. You know, staying behind the scenes, trying my best ability to make this fight happen, and, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. Now, uh, word was that y'all were close to a deal, close to an agreement, close to a number. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Can we expect an announcement for this fight soon? Uh, we sent another offer, you know, and they, they asked for almost double. You know, uh, so you know, we trying, we trying our best to make this fight happen. Uh, how many offers have you sent so far? Three. So you've gone up each and every time. Each and every time. Each and every time. Yep. Okay. So I don't know if they, I don't know if they looking for a retirement check or, or what. I'm I, like I said, I'm here to collect belts. I'm here to be undisputed, you know, uh, and collect all these belts and make, make the biggest fights possible happen, you know. What's the most important thing to you right now? Is it money or is it legacy? Legacy. You know, I'm I'm here to be undisputed. You know, I'm. Taking over this elite division, you know, I'm here to collect belts. Okay. Um, is is it safe to say this would be his highest payday ever? Most definitely. Is he, he, I heard he was saying something about uh, something. I ain't a big dog or something like that. If you think I ain't a big dog, why would you turn down your biggest payday or multiple times? Come, come on, let's come make this fight happen. Um, is, is that your is that your message to Brian Norman Jr.? Because yeah. I know uh, the, the dad's done a lot of interviews yeah. and vice versa. So yeah. if you were talking to the fighter, what would you say? Yeah, they they doing a lot of talking. They doing too much talking, you know. Uh, and they they ain't, they ain't doing no action, you know. Uh, sign them, sign them, sign them papers, man. Sign them, sign them dollar lines, and stop putting on a show for the, for the Instagram and YouTube and doing all these interviews and all that. But nobody want to hear none of that. Sign a dotted line, make this fight happen. I want to fight. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen right now. Now, to hear what Jerron Ennis had to say, and salute to my boy YSM Sports Media for the excellent interview. Go subscribe to YSM Sports Media. Jerron said, sign the dotted line. Jerron said, stop putting up a front for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Jerron Boots Ennis said, he ain't really trying to talk too much. I'm trying to do this for legacy. I'm not trying to do this for the money. I'm doing this for legacy. And if I'm not a big dog, why you didn't take your biggest payday? And if you look on the screen here, the spreadsheet, Brian Norman Jr. made 100000 in his last fight. So this is why I asked you guys in the video prior to this one, the video before this one, is the Normans pricing themselves out? But wait, there's more. Bozy Ennis also has some things to say. And salute to my boy YSM Sports Media once again for the excellent interview. Bozy Ennis, I never seen him like this. He was hot. Check it out. That it, it possibly was going to happen now. Right. You know, it's reports saying that it's not. Right. Is there an update? Uh, all I know is they've been offering him uh, a certain amount of money. And I heard it's good money, more than he, he ever made. Like I said, he made a hundred uh, thousand or something for uh, Stan Yunnian, whatever his name is, <laughs> Saint 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 Tenian, yeah. whatever his name is, mm -hmm. and um, and that's all I've been hearing. You know what I mean? I heard they offered him a nice piece of money. He turned that down, and uh, 
that was it. But he had called me before they even said anything to me about it and said that, uh, yes, uh, they offered me a, a, a nice piece of, um, no, they offered me some money, and the money they offered me wasn't what we was looking for. So we wanted at least $2 million. Mm. You know what I mean? Then when after that, he was saying, you know, after he said all that stuff, he said, don't worry about it. The fight's going to happen uh, 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 November the 9th. I'll see you November the 9th. And now all this stuff going on. He's going around running his mouth, talking, Boots ain't this and Boots ain't that. See, I'm trying to be respectful, man, because he, he's disrespected now. You know what I mean? But he know what Boots uh, done to his son in here. You know what I mean? And I, and I just don't want to be like him, though, but I have to tell the truth. Boots uh, hit him with a body shot and dropped him in here. And then when he first came down, the first time he came down, because he was under the same contract with Cameron Duncan, you know what I mean? He was the manager. And um, I told Cameron they need some uh, sparring for boots. So Cameron says, uh, oh, yeah, I got a couple of guys. Uh, uh, Brian Norman. I said, yeah, Brian Norman. He, he's, he's a pretty good fighter, man. And plus, he can punch. I said, yeah, send him down. And But his Cameron said, well, I told him, don't go down there and act, you know, act, you know, act crazy or something like that. I said, you ain't got to tell him that. Don't worry about that, right? So when he came down here and I told his father, you know what I mean, uh, that I need four from Bryant, four from this guy, four from that guy, 12 rounds. But Bryant's father going to say, oh, we do whatever, you know what I mean, like that. I said, okay, you know what I mean? Got in there, you know what I mean? Boots broke him down after three rounds, and I made Boots fight inside with him, his own game, and backed him up, you know what I mean? Since he's the father running his mouth, man, I'm trying to be respectful, man, but I'm tired of him running his mouth, you know what I mean? And, uh, and he told me he, he, he want to make the fight. Make the fight and stop running your mouth, man. Ain't nobody ducking. They, they offer you more money than you ever yeah, you ever want to see. Now, you, he, he, hit you, he hit you up first and said that, you know, it wasn't enough money. Yeah. But then, they, then they, I guess they kept offering Offer more. money. Then he, and then afterwards he said that. Yeah, he said, he said, well, he texted me. I got the text, see. And I got the text when, at the booth, uh, sparred him that time. You know what I mean? He sent me a text, and I got that text. So don't let, tell, me, tell him, don't let me put that text out. You know what I mean? I got that text when he said, man, listen, your son whooped my son ass, man. He said, but we were sparring um, uh, 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 Crawford, Bud Crawford. My son had him knocked out on his feet. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I, I don't even expose stuff like that. I don't like talking like that. But he's running his mouth like, like his son a killer. He's, yeah, his son can fight. He's a good fighter. No disrespect, but I think he's trying to live through his son. But you were under the impression after your conversation with him that there was no, going to be a deal. Well, he, he already told me, he said, don't worry about all this stuff that's going on. I'll see you November the 9th, and I can show you that. Now, after hearing what the OG Bozy had to say, wow. Wow, right? We never seen Bozy that upset. He always cool, calm, collected. Nah, he tired of the Normans going on the internet, on this platform, on that platform, saying this, saying that. They saying everything but let's fight. Oh, well, we'll see you November 9th. Um, well, what happened? What happened? We, 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 we want 1.7. We want 2.0. We want $2 million. We want $3 million. The number keep jumping, jumping, jumping. Like I told you guys before, man, this is very similar to the stuff that Terrence Crawford was going through. And we can't say it's Boots and Bozy and the Innocence this time, y'all. We just can't. Because if Brian Norman Jr. made 100000 in his last fight, and we don't really pocket watch, but this is just the facts. If he made 100000 in his last fight, what the hell does he expect to make with Jerron? Who he himself isn't a pay-per-view star or anything like that. He's also on the rise as well. Eddie Hearn was going to pay you 1.5, 1.7, whatever it was. But then you wanted more. So you essentially priced yourself out of the fight. The innocent said, man, let's make this thing happen. But the Normans know that either, A, Jerron going to stay at 147 and have to deal with Karen Kukachan again in a lackluster matchup that nobody really wants to see again, or B, move up, drop the belt, Move up in 154 pounds and start over again. But Jerron Boots, and it seems to be hell-bent on unifying 147 before he makes any type of moves. 
And the Normans know this. But you can't fool your boy Bushido, right? I had no horse in the race when it came to these negotiations, but I got to call exactly how I see it. They, they, they playing games with the innocents, bro. They don't really want to fight like that. And you heard what Bozy had to say. Bozy don't, he's not that type of guy, but he's definitely, definitely pissed off about some of the things that Brian Norman C. had been saying. Said that he hurt him with a body shot. Said this, said that about sparring. It's even threw in Terrence Bud Crawford, right? Collateral damage. Oh, man. Threw in Bud in there, too. But at the end of the day, y'all, like I told you, man, they pricing themselves out of this fight. I'm not no Norman hater or no one like that. I want to see these young brothers get in the ring and, and, and see who was going to emerge the victor. But right now, if we're calling it straight down the middle, if we're not going to be biased, if we go call it exactly how we see it, it's looking like the Normans are playing games and installing and essentially ducking Jerron Boots Ennis. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.